All right, YouTube, what's up, guys? So I'm here. I'm a house right now. I know it's been a while since I uploaded a video consistently. I'm finally here back in my house. I got off work a little early today, so I have time to do a very short Q&A and then upload it the same day today. Um, now, today I am vlogging, but I want to make sure I give you guys as much content as I possibly can, so I'll make sure to upload this as soon as I can. And just so you know, I have been pretty sick. I had a really bad flu and I just wasn't able to focus. I didn't even go to work. I was actually working from home from Tuesday to Thursday. And so I couldn't even vlog. I was just exhausted, tired, and just trying to catch up and rest. But it's good to be back. It's good to be back home. And um, I'm ready to do this Q&A with you guys. So um, it looks like there's 17 questions. So I'll try to get through this as fast as I can. Question number one, uh, someone asked from Mimi Zoldik. He actually asked two questions, so I'll go ahead and try to answer them on here. He said, which people are your inspirations? And I think that's a very good question because, you know, learning code or even just like living life and just even vlogging in general and coding and doing all these things, it honestly takes a lot of effort to even try to get these things done, right? And so, uh, you know, one of the reasons that I started a YouTube channel was because of this one influencer. His name is Gary V. And I remember watching his channel a year and a half ago. Um, and I remember just thinking, he just said, you know what, anyone could do it. And you know, you can make a difference in your life. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. And he said, all you have to do is take your cell phone, document yourself and start videoing and just talk. That's all you have to do. And that's literally what I did on my very first video on YouTube. And I'm actually wearing the shirt I wore on my very first video on YouTube a year and a half ago, um, or, or just a little bit over a year ago. And um, yeah, so Gary Vee is my inspiration. Um, I do listen to his podcast every couple days, every other day. Um, I watch his vlogs. Um, actually, I actually don't watch it, but I'll listen to it while I'm at work. And other than that, yeah, Gary Vee's the guy. I watch Peter McKinnon, he is a YouTuber. Um, I watch Christian Guzman, and most of all, now I watch I watch Jan Alston, an amazing up and coming YouTuber. His vlogs are very fun. It's just very entertaining, and I'm learning how to do things with my vlogs too from that. But yeah, let's go to qu next question from this guy. How do you stay productive? Not get lazy and procrastinate. I love your videos, by the way, and you gave me a lot of courage, inspiration to pursue my dream of becoming a computer game developer, which I'm doing a degree in September. Okay. So how do you stay productive, not get lazy and procrastinate? Um, that's hard to answer because I feel lazy all the time. I mean, pretty much how I stay productive is I make sure my day's busy. You know, I either wake up early to get things done, um, wake up early, go to work early so I can leave early and work on things. Um, but really what I do to stay productive is I have a goal what I wanna do. I wanna grow my channel, right? I wanna make sure I become the best programmer as I could possibly be. And how do I do that? I do that by learning code. And so what do I need to do to reach those steps? What do I need to do to reach that goal? And I have to also, also either write down or just really make a very strong mental note in my head. Um, if I don't do this, what will happen? And I think that's very important to do. And that's what helps me get through the day too, because you know, yes, there are pros to being, to doing something to get to where your goals are, right? To, to reach your goals. But there are also consequences that will you know, either hold you back or prevent you from reaching your goals if you don't do this too. And so those are one of the many things I do. I say it in all of my videos all the time, but yeah, I figured I'd give you guys something different today. So Now, Heidi at Salar, he's asking this. He's saying, Chris, why don't you start making web development tutorials? Oh man, everyone asks me this. Why don't I start making web development tutorials? I mean, I guess you could say it's because you know I'm still learning code myself. I'm not the best developer out there. There are many people out there in YouTube who are better at programming than me. Why? I'm just a junior developer. I'm just documenting my journey as I go. I'm a vlogger. I'm not, you know, this isn't like just a coding channel, but I'm documenting my journey as I grow in this industry. Um, but in the future, yeah, you know, um, I was talking to Coding Phase last week and we we're thinking maybe I'll do a collab with CodingPhase.com and teach a course on there to help you guys get the basics down um, as a developer, front end aspect, at least in the front end aspect. And you know, and just for me, when I created this channel, I made it a goal to not making it a, to not make it a coding tutorial channel. There's so many good sources out there. Uh, I would just be another person, but I wanted to be someone different. I wanted to stand out. You know, I could not do vlogs and just talk in front of a camera like this all the time. But again, that's not what I want to do. That's not what will make me happy in the, in the end. I like making vlogs. I like telling a story. I like documenting my journey. That's why I don't want to do coding tutorials. <laughs> All right, here's the next question. I think it's pretty good. Coding Grunt asks, if you can go back in time in the beginning of your web development journey, what would you do differently? What mistakes do you feel could have avoided and what tips would you have given yourself when it comes to teaching yourself code? All right, I know I'm gonna throw a curveball on this, but so if I could do something differently, what would I do? Honestly, if I was just focusing on just coding, I would have never started a YouTube channel. Number one, why? 
because YouTube, especially with vlogging, takes so much of your time. You know, if I could do something like, you know, Coding 360 or something like, you know, Chris Hawks or Coding Phase where you just turn on a webcam or something, you just talk to it. Um, not, you don't need much editing at all or no editing at all whatsoever, to be honest. Um, you know, it would be a lot easier, but you know, I just wanted to be something different. Maybe I will do that eventually in the future, depending on my time. But um, if I was to do things differently, I would not do you. I would not have a YouTube channel, um, and I would just focus more on just programming. Um, I know for a fact, 110 percent, that if I never had this YouTube channel, I would be 10 times better as a programmer. Um, probably would have had even a better job than I have now. But again, I love what I do. I'm happy where I'm at, and you know, at the end of the day, what's most important is that are you happy? And yes, I am. Right um, now. You're probably thinking, then just start, stop your YouTube channel now. No, because number one, I never thought I'd even have my channel grow the way it did in the span of one year. That's not normal for my channel to grow this fast. And so seeing the opportunity that I have, of course, I'm going to try my best to take advantage of it. Flying out the treehouse, who knows what's going to happen next. But I'm very thankful for this opportunity. Um, and something else in regards to code, um, I probably would have went into Angular much sooner than I thought. Um, I was afraid of Java because it's the first language I tried to learn and I did not understand it and it scared me so I never tried to learn it. But I wish I had I studied Java even that much more sooner because there is a pretty big demand for Java and Angular and yeah, I think it would have brought me more opportunities. So that's what I would have done differently. Okay, next question uh, comes from Sandeep Sahu. He says, after watching all your videos, I'm pretty confident about web development and started a journey but if I feel like quitting or if I have a thinking of quitting for any reason, then what should I do? Love from India. What's up, my brothers, Dad's life family from India? If you feel like quitting, um, then what I would do, like what I said on a treehouse show or on just anything, is just remember why you started in the first place. You know, they will come to a point, you know, for some people, if not many people, honestly, where you'll realize maybe, you know, coding isn't for me. Um, and then, yeah, then find something else. Coding isn't the end all be all. You know, coding isn't the only way out. Coding isn't the only thing that'll make your life better. Now, yes, it is a very, you know, very, you know, you get paid well in the industry. You get taken care of by your company. I get taken care of very well by my company. Um, the perks are unheard of compared to just a regular job, but maybe coding is not for you. You know, you have to really think about it. Can I really see myself doing this for the rest of my life? For me, I can. Um, if YouTube doesn't do well, that's totally fine because I could see myself programming for the rest of my life. Um, that's something I love to do. I love the logic behind it. I love creating. I love learning. And I just like doing new things. And for me, I get bored very easily. Um, and so being able to do this for a living, it just it stimulates my mind so much that I kind, I'm kind of addicted to it, you know. And then, but, but let's say it is for you and you, it's just so hard and you want to give up. Then also think about, I mean, are you happy where you are? Do you want to stay where you're at? Or do you want to make a difference? Um, you know, nothing good comes easy, and to be able to succeed in this industry is very difficult. It is very competitive. But to those who love it, to those who persevere, man, in the long run, in two to three years from now, you know, maybe you'll be like me, thinking, wow, I can't believe it. For me, a year and a half ago, I was living paycheck to paycheck. A year and a half ago, I couldn't afford the best insurance. Now I have the best medicine for what I need, and I can afford it very easily. Why? Because I put in the effort a year and a half ago, and I'm still putting, and I'm still putting the effort today. Right? And think about it. Where do you want to be? What do you need to do to get where you want to go? Ahmed M is asking, are you going to do software development? And if you will, when? No, I don't really plan on ever doing software development. It's not something I'm really into. Now, it is a good industry and, you know, the jobs are there, to be honest. Um, but it's not something I'm into right now. But, I mean, why not, though, in the future? You know, um, I'm just, I just contradicted myself. What I'm saying right now is I really like doing web development. I, I, if I had to choose software development on iOS and you know, Android development, I would go React Native and just be able to, you know, I'll do, I'd rather go React and be able to do Android and iOS at the same time. Um, you know, but, you know, if it does come to a point where software development is the place you need to be, like machine learning, which is insane and it is the future, um, which is something I should consider, to be honest. Um, yeah, I mean, if I do, I will, if really web development, you know, comes to a point where it's just not lucrative anymore in my area of which I doubt they'll ever, you know, will ever come in that case because I live in LA. I live in an area where there is a tech bubble and there are jobs everywhere. So I don't see myself ever changing what I need to do. Um, Ahmed again ask, when you get bored of coding, what do you do? I listen to music. <laughs> I'll turn on a YouTube video and I'll watch it. Um, it depends. If I'm solving a problem, then I'm going to make sure I turn on my Spotify, listen to NF and, you know, crank that out. But if I'm just learning code, you know, I don't, I don't push myself so hard to learn as much as I used to because I have the job. 
my job's secure and I love the company I work for, the things I'm able to do and the people I work with are amazing. So I don't really push myself as much to, you know, really like crank out as many languages as I could possibly learn. It's not about that anymore. It's about really getting good at what I'm doing. And that's what's hard for me, focusing on PHP, just PHP and Angular, when there's so many other languages out there. Um, and so for me, but I, I guess you could say when I do get bored, you know, I'll, I'll take, I'll, you know, if I'm at work, I'll go to a tech blog. I'll go on Twitter and just read some tweets. Um, you know, I'll, I'll text some people, right, uh, my friends, and just chat with them a little bit. Um, or I'll, I'll take a walk. And sometimes you do get bored. Sometimes you get burned out and you just need a break from coding in general. But, you know, I don't really get bored. I think the only part that gets really bored for me at work is if I do the exact same thing over and over again. If I have to do the exact same thing over and over again, I will get bored and you'll get bored too. But other than that, man, I don't really get bored of code. <laughs> If you do, then, you know, look at it differently. <laughs> That's all I can say. But um, anyway, all right, guys. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I hope some of the questions here helped you out and my answers too. If you can, I really appreciate it, guys. If you could go ahead and like the video, subscribe if you haven't yet. Leave a comment. If you have any questions, you know, we have an awesome community here in Dev's Life. You know, other subscribers will answer your questions. If not, I will too. Uh, other than that, if not, hit me up on Instagram. Hit me up on Twitter, especially Instagram. And I'll be more than happy to answer any questions you guys have. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, this is Krishan. This is a life for a developer. Dev's Life. <laughs> and I'm out. Peace.